Now that my labels are connected to my Excel address list, I'm ready to place my content on the labels. Starting in the first cell of the table, I'll design one label for Word to use as a model during the mail merge. I want to include our company logo on the labels, so I'll add that now. On the Insert tab, in the Illustrations group, I click Picture. I find the logo and click Insert. It looks a little large for this label, so I'll drag a selection handle to resize it. Then I'll click the Format tab on the Picture Tools tab that appears whenever the logo is selected. In the Arrange group, I'll click Position and experiment with some of my choices for aligning the picture on the label. Next, I want to identify what address information to include on the labels. I click the Mailings tab, and in the Write and Insert Fields group, I click the Insert Merge Field down arrow. I see the column headings from my data file, which I could add individually to my label. Instead of doing that, I'll click Address Block, which is a quick way to add address information to my label all at once. Here, I specify the format for the recipient's name, and indicate when the country name should be included on the label. In the preview box, Word shows me the address information that will appear on the label for the first recipient in the list. I notice that the address is incomplete, so I click Match Fields. Items are missing from the label because the column headings in my Excel worksheet, shown listed on the right, don't match the generic names included in the address block, which are listed on the left. For each unmatched item I want to include, I simply click the down arrow and choose the corresponding field from the list. Then I click OK. Now when I look at the preview, I see all of the address items I want on the label. I can click through the records to see what each label will look like. Then I click OK. Notice that now in the Word document, the words address block appear in the first cell. Merge fields such as this one and the next record merge field that appears in all of the other cells in the table are surrounded by chevrons to indicate that they will be replaced by regular text when the labels are printed. Finally, in the Write and Insert Fields group, I'll click Update Labels to tell Word to add the logo and the address block to the rest of the labels. At this point, I've done all the work, and it's time to preview the results of my labor, adjust the label formatting if I want, and print the labels. See how to do that in the final mail merge demo.